Welcome to RaiGurukul.com. In this video, we'll discuss about NumPy hyperbolic function, which is used or which is a part of NumPy mathematical functions. So, if you are really want to understand this in detail with practical example, consider watching the complete sessions and don't forget to like and subscribe the channel for the more updates. Let's begin with. NumPy hyperbolic functions. So it's a part of NumPy mathematical functions. I've already covered basics of NumPy mathematical functions and trigonometric function in my previous session. So if you want to watch it that as well, you can refer it from description tab. So NumPy hyperbolic function is a mathematical function help us to calculate hyperbolic sign of all the data or the being the array element so for calling this or generating the value of this we just have to import numpy library as well as math library as import numpy as np and again import math function now post that we have to create an array where we have to declare the value of an array just say one comma math dot pi divided by two then np dot py divided by three and at the end we want to np dot pi function so this is our logic which we want to print it for printing we are using print function and we are giving the name of an array now if i want to perform the hyperbolic function of sine so i am giving here as a sh equal to np dot sin h and the name of array now let's print this sh so if i will run i will get the hyperbolic hyperbolic value of sin h Now let's run this program and see the result how it gives the response. So if you can see here we have declared a variable array and sorry array name and provided one then math.pis divided by two and we have used sign hyperbolic function. Now you can see here we got a response of all these things which we are looking for. So 1 has become 1.17 and hyperbolic of second that is math.pi divided 2 becomes 2.30. The same way we can also do that for cos h that is cos h that means cos hyperbolic function. So let's run this and see the result. This time we have received some different response as compared to the previous one. So this is how we can do that for the 10 arc sin h, arc cos h and arc tan h or that is tan h for the compute hyperbolic tangent element wise, arc sin h for inverse hyperbolic sin element wise, arc cos h that is inverse hyperbolic cosine and arc tan h for inverse hyperbolic tangent element wise. So this is how it looks or how we can generate a response or the result for hyperbolic function which is available in python numpy. So that's all about hyperbolic function in numpy. Hope you liked it. If you really enjoyed this session, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Thank you for watching.